Hey guys, it's Paige. Um, I'm doing a little reorganizing in my basement where I spend 99% of my time. Um, I'm going to be moving what was my sewing room, which is kind of like the um, laundry room area. We're gonna turn that more into a bar area. Um, I've been getting really into tiki culture and cocktails and I just, I need more space than a little table that I've set up behind our couch. Um, so everything's gonna go into my sewing closet now and it's gonna kinda come out when I need it and go back when I don't. Also kind of getting us <laughs> into the idea of, you know, possibly having kids soon and not having dedicated sewing spaces, but obviously still having a dedicated bar space. We're gonna be taking everything out in my fabric stash and deciding what goes and what stays. There she is. So this is gonna be my sewing closet. I've kind of started putting some stuff in here. And there's some stuff over there, but I need to get a handle on this business. Also, there's stuff in here that doesn't really need to go here at all. Uh, but let's sort through it. Let's see what I'm actually gonna use and let's see what can, you know, be repurposed or donated. Good morning. Also, this is stuff that I'm also going to deal with. But yeah, that's it. Okay guys, so the way we're gonna tackle this is I'm gonna go through piece by piece. I'm gonna decide if I keep it. Um, I'm going to decide if it's scraps and it's gonna go in my scrap box. I'm gonna decide if I'm gonna donate it. So, let's start. Okay. This fabric, I got at Walmart. It is like a very, very sheer knit. This is back when I was going through a bit of like a fabric buying craze. I had no idea what I was going to do with this. I don't know if I could actually wear it because it's so sheer. I don't know if you can tell, but it's a decent amount of yardage. It was like a dollar a yard. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it just because I might be able to make some like flowy pants or a flowy skirt out of it. So let's go ahead and keep this. Okay, so this I have to keep. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make anything out of it, but this is fabric that I got from my mother who got it from her mother who has now passed away. I have no idea how old it is. It's probably pretty old. Um, I do love corduroy. Um, one day I'll make something out of this. This is just one of the ones that I'm kind of scared to cut into. This is a remnant. And I bought this because I wanted to make that dress that Marjorie wears on Game of Thrones. And this is kind of a similar fabric. And I figured I could get away with a yard for the top. So I will be keeping this because I am still planning on making them. So this got sent to me with another order that I had from an Etsy seller. And it's kind of like a taffeta. And I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. Let's donate this. I'm donating everything to a craft reuse location by my house. It's called Scrap It Up Cincy. Um, I know that a fellow crafter will get it, which is important for me for some reason. Okay, so um, this, I would never use a piece of knit this big. I don't know why I kept it. Um, I'm going to donate that because somebody might be able to craft with that. This, oh, this is power mesh. I was looking for this. This goes with my swimsuit stuff and my underwear stuff. So this I'm keeping because this is super helpful and awesome. Um, so this fabric is actually really expensive <laughs> and it's a design that I custom printed on a linen silk combo and I really want to make a day dress out of it even though I still kind of I hate the design a little bit. It's supposed to be vaguely like the strawberries on Marie Antoinette's dress but I made this years and years and years ago. I actually won a contest. This is from like my fabric design um, and I washed it and it faded a lot. I was really disappointed, but it's a really nice fabric and I think I want to make a dress out of it. So I'm going to keep it and I have like 10 yards, not 10 yards. That's not 10 yards. 
maybe three yards. All right, I'm gonna keep that. This guy I bought to make um, Hobbit like corset for the Renaissance Fair. Um, it's really cheap and it's a fabric Joanne's always has. If I really need it, I'll go buy it again. I've had it for probably five years and I haven't used it. So out you go to the donate pile. This piece, I bought this to make um, bias tape out of and I really actually liked it. I think I put this on the inside of my last Fancy Tiger Fen tunic and I think I have a video for that. So I'll probably keep it because there's a decent amount and I can make more bias tape out of it. So scrap then it goes. Um, this is like scraps of a ponty. I don't know why I saved this. I'm, I'm gonna donate it because there's a big enough amount here to where like somebody could make a doll outfit out of it or something. This fabric I got when I went to LA with my mother and I actually made a dress out of it that no longer fits because I gained weight, but there's still a good amount of yardage here and some weird crappy scraps. I'm gonna throw the scraps away, but I'm gonna save this yardage because I'd like to make something else out of it because I really do like this um, print. I think I get this at Mood LA and it does have a little bit of stretch. So I'm gonna keep this. This I used to fill some squares for that quilt I made. I don't think there's even really a yard left, but I would make bias tape out of this. So I don't know, that's a pretty big print for bias tape. You know what, I'm gonna donate it. I have enough bias tape. Um, this fabric is great. It's um, thick girls with bathing suits and I don't know what I wanted to make from this, but I know I wanted it. I'm thinking, I don't know, an accessory or honestly even a top. It's not something I would normally wear, but I'm gonna find a way to use it, even if it's making a beach blanket. So that's saying. So sorry if you can hear the tree people, but they're gonna be here all day. Um, so this is actually a work in progress. It's gonna be a stomacher for what was supposed to be an Outlander inspired um, outfit. I got this fabric on Etsy. It's like a faux cruel work type fabric. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna make the whole costume anymore because Outlander was pretty cool the first season and then it kind of turned into like um, rape porn, which I'm not super cool with, but I'm going to make the stomacher because I can wear it with my other 18th century costume. So here that is, this is going to go in a completely separate pile that is just works in progress. This is historical fabric. I have a lot of it. I'm going to make maybe something Regency out of it. So this stays. I have a couple, I have a couple other things that are historical prints that are going to stay. Here's some more of that green fabric, which I will be donating. Um, this is non-slip foot fabric. I was making some slippers last year. Um, it's just grippy. I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna donate it. Somebody else can use it. I'm not making any more slippers this year. Okay. I made a really beautiful um, jacket out of this and I'll Put a picture below it's a historical jacket i really don't have any use for it anymore i'm gonna donate it this is like a linen blend fabric i bought it to make lots of stuff out of because it was on sale i still like it and i still think it falls in the color palette i like to work in so i'm gonna keep it this i bought as part of a winter capsule and never actually sewed anything for it i think i was gonna make a ginger skirt it's a nice um medium weight fabric. I think I'm going to keep it just because it's a solid and I know I can make something out of it. I made a Circe dress out of this, but I do think that I'm going to keep it. There's a decent amount left to go with the other fabric um, for the Marjorie dress from Game of Thrones. So this stays. I bought this fabric in Paris and I haven't made anything out of it. I still like it. So I'm gonna let it stay. I used this when I was making slippers, but 
I'm not making any more slippers. I guess it's fine. It wasn't super expensive. I don't know. I'm, I'm not realistically going to use this for anything. So I'm going to donate it. I was going to make a striped jacket out of this for a um, 18th century striped jacket. Maybe a whole dress. I still like it. And even if I don't make that costume, I think I could use this. All right, we got some more power mesh. That is gonna stay for sure. I bought this sheer fabric to make a costume out of, but I'm probably not gonna make any more. And it was really cheap. I think I made, oh no, this is for my um, chemise all around. And I ended up using a cotton because this was way too sheer and it's still way too sheer and I'm, never gonna use it so it's gonna get donated okay so let's see what we have here this is some interfacing I'm gonna keep this this is like double-sided crafties interfacing so definitely gonna keep that I can make boxes and stuff like that I'm gonna stick it down here the other interfacing oh this is another work in progress um, my husband worked for Apple for probably about 10 years and you're not allowed to do anything with the Apple shirts you kind of have to sell them or wear them and so he had a lot, and so I was going to make him a little lap quilt. So I just cut all the t-shirts out around the Apple logos. So this needs to go in my work and project pile too. Work in progress. Um, I hate t-shirt quilts, so we'll see if I ever do this. Okay, this is cotton organdy. It's very important in a lot of bonnet making for the 18th century, so I'm gonna keep this. Might not use it anytime soon, but you know. We've got scraps, we'll go in our scrap bin. Oh! And looks like I was cutting out a quilt and I totally forgot that this was happening. Got a lot of pre-cuts here for those in the scraps and a couple of scrappy looking quilt pieces. I think this was just like my crazy quilt as you go quilt I was working on. You can kind of see some stuff here. I'm gonna throw this in the quilt slash scrap box. Oh, I love this fabric. This is like a scuba net and I made a wiggle dress out of it that I still wear occasionally. I'm a little thicker in the middle right now, so not the most comfortable thing for me to wear self-conscious wise, but I don't think I have a use for this fabric ever again, so I'm gonna donate it. Okay, so I also have this fabric that is probably also for a Marjorie dress. I'm gonna hold on to it just because I like it and there seems like there's a decent amount of yardage here, but that's what I intended this for. Denim, I didn't even know I had denim. And it is, she's a little bit stretchy. We're gonna keep this. One of my greatest fears is like sewing jeans. So one day we'll get to you. Um, we've got like a silky polyester guy. Love to make a cami top or a slip dress out of this. So I'm gonna keep it. We've got some canvas. This is gonna go down with my interfacings. This was also historical fabric, but honestly I could use this for a lot of stuff. It's like a quilting cotton weight. I'm gonna keep this. This fabric I was gonna make a Regency day dress out of. It has kind of like crowns or flowers embroidered on it, but it is very sheer. Um, I still think I would like to make a Regency dress out of this, so I'm gonna keep it. I bought this as part of a summer capsule last year and it's summer again, so maybe I should make something out of it. It's like a really pretty white embroidered cotton. Let's, let's make something out of this for sure. Okay, keep it for sure. Ooh, what is this? I don't even know. It's like a stretchy poly knit. Oh, that would be a fun top. I'm gonna keep this. Oh, we've got like a scrap, a big scrap of lace. I use this as sleeves on a t-shirt I made, but I don't know if I would use this again. I guess I could make underwear out of it. I'm gonna throw this in my scrap box, but I'm gonna keep it. I bought this to make something fancy out of, and I don't remember what it was but it's still like a fun fabric. This is actually the inside. It's still fun sequin fabric that I feel like I could do something with. So I'm gonna keep it. Th this is trash. This is like the stuff I really need to get rid of. There's no use for this for me. Okay, here are the scraps from my um, cami I made on the channel. So I'm gonna throw this in the scraps just cause there's big enough pieces to quilt. Oh geez. This is like a very slicky, almost like athletic knit. It's very shiny. 
Um, I do like the color. I could make something out of this. I, I'm gonna keep this. Just cause knits, I feel like they're always fun to play around with. So this is a flannel that I wanted to make a coat out of, and I still think I would like to make a coat out of. I probably won't make one until towards the end of the summer, so I have it, but I, I'm gonna keep that. It's like a hunter green buffalo check. I got this on sale at my local fabric store. It is a fun print and I like it. Um, I'm gonna keep this. This was a little purse that I cut out with everything in it. I'm gonna donate it. I'm never gonna make this. I don't like making purses. All right, we got a little mermaid fabric. Joanne's never runs out of this stuff. I'm gonna donate it. If I ever really wanna make a mermaid tail again, I can make it, but I don't, I don't need to hold on to this. Okay. This is like a blue shirting. It's like sheet weight almost. Yeah. Um, it's a basic and it could work for a lot of stuff, so it'll stay. I have like this pale blue and baby pink striped seating that I definitely want to do something with. I'm going to keep. This would be good for bias tape, so it's going to go in my scrap bin. I actually just bought these because my local fabric store um, didn't go out of business, but the lady who ran it decided to close it. It might be reopening if somebody purchases it. But I did just buy these because they were on super clearance and I really like them. So they're both quilting cottons, but I probably won't quilt with them. I'll probably make clothing. I love this print. And look how precious these little strawberries are. How could I not? I originally was going to make something for LARP out of this. But the fabric frays a lot. I do like it though. I'm going to keep it because there's enough here for like a waist corset or something. But I, I'm going to set myself a rule that if I don't make it in the next like six months, it's got to go. This is also fabric I picked up from my fabric store that closed. Sadly, it's like a khaki and it's got like white triangles and the occasional gold triangle. So I'm definitely going to keep that. I'd like to make a dress out of this. Okay, I bought this to make an 18th century dress out of, but I'm never gonna do it. The colors aren't super right for it, so. Donate, it goes. I got some farf. Okay, I bought this fabric um, from Spandex World in New York last time I was there with my mom. And it's like a sheer, let me show you, it's kind of sheer in the park, like a burnout, a pattern. I still wanna make a dress from it. It's just one of those ones where I really like it and I don't want to mess it up cutting into it. So I need to find the perfect dress pattern for it, but it stays. So I got this from the store that I'm probably going to donate it to. I, I don't need it, but I don't know. It's a good color. I could make something out of it cosplay wise. I don't know. I'm just going to donate it back because I have no idea what I'm going to do with this and it's not high quality. This guy is like a shirting weight. It's got like a fun grain pattern in there. Um, it's a fun color. I'm gonna keep this. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna keep this. I would like to make a cami or a slip dress out of it. I don't know, this is fun. It's slicky. I'd love to make a summer top out of it. Um, I could wear it with a lot of the colors I already have. Uh, Orange and I are having a moment this summer, so I'm gonna keep it. This bag is full of like swimsuit supplies, so that, that all stays in there. Speaking of, I'm going to put my power mesh in there, because that's where that goes. So this, this all stays. I'm not gonna go through this, because it's little pieces, and little elastics, and stuff like that. I have more of this cool work stuff. I already cut out the stomacher piece I want. So I'm gonna donate it. Cause I'm definitely only gonna make one of those. Um, this, I will probably use to make bias tape out of cause I cut big chunks out of it already. So scrap pile. This is 
I was using to make a 18th century cap, but I'm probably not going to do that because I don't understand the pattern. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Um, this is going to get donated. I have no feelings strongly either way on that one. I want to make a summer dress out of this. It's like a fun like crepe. I bought it recently, so this stays. This is also something I bought recently. It's like a quilting cotton with like this fun print on it. So she stays. Okay, so I bought this to make a bag out of. It's fun, I like it. I'm probably not gonna use it, although I could make a pillow out of it. Um, tell you guys what, I'm gonna keep this and if I don't make a pillow case out of it in a month, I'm gonna throw it away because I'll never do it. This is rib knit scraps um, for waistbands and stuff. I am gonna keep this, but I am gonna put it in my scraps bin. I've got this, I think I bought this at Joann's. Um, I don't know, it was around Christmas, I wanna say, and I thought I was gonna make a fun top out of it. It is really glittery. I'm, I'm gonna donate this. I like it, but I, I don't think I'm gonna make anything out of it. This, I made my most worn article of clothing ever. This is a Fen dress. Um, it's like a cotton lawn. I think there's enough here to where I could make a cami top, but I don't know. Do I wanna keep it? You know what, I have so many other things I wanna make cami tops out of that if I'm not gonna make it now, I'm not gonna make it ever. So this is gonna get donated. I bought this thinking I was gonna make something out of it. I don't like it now. I'm gonna donate this. It was only a couple bucks a yard. Um, it's just, it's not me. So, although could I make this a fun backdrop? No, donate, 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 donate. Don't hold on to things you don't need. This is a handkerchief with Handkerchief weight linen, and I bought it to make a 18th century shift out of. And I don't know if I'm gonna make it out of that, but it was very expensive and I very much like it, so this stays. But I should make a shift out of this, honestly. Here's another piece of flannel I bought to make Hobbit outfits out of. I already made the Hobbit outfits. I'm not gonna keep it. Don't need. Um, This is on sale. And I bought it just in case. I don't know. I'm gonna keep it because this has lots of applications that I could use for cosplay and stuff. So this stays. I bought this fabric in Paris um, at the base of Sacre Coeur. And I don't know if it's my style anymore, but it's very soft. I don't know, I feel bad getting rid of this. I think I need to make something out of this in the next month or toss it. But it's just a little sentimental because I got it in Paris. That was 2014, so I don't know if I'm gonna go back again. But this could make a really, really nice dress. Nice and soft, I have enough yardage. It was super cheap, it's not like it was expensive. <sighs> I'm torn. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this and I'm gonna be brutal about something else. But it's not gonna be this, because I'm also keeping this, because this is taffeta. And this is taffeta, and I would like to make either 18th century gowns or some cosplay stuff out of it. Now this is not my usual style. This is a weird like homespun texture, but I do like it, and I think I can make a really pretty like prairie dress. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this. I am gonna make a circle skirt or something out of this for Halloween. I just, I love these little skulls. So this stays. Oh my goodness. This I got at the Creative Reuse, like scrap it up place. Um, this is not my color. I'm gonna donate it back. I have this velvet, but I also have like eight more yards of this. 
I got it from a fabric supply company, not fabric supply, but a um, theater curtain company. I have a cloak cut out that I just need to sew up and I haven't done it yet. I have a lot more of this. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. This is also from that same um, theater curtain company. And I thought it was a different color and then I washed it and it became much cleaner and I realized it was kind of like a, it's like a curtain lining. But I think I'm gonna keep it. I don't know if I could wear this. I think it would be really hot. It's 100% polyester to be sure. Um, I'm gonna donate this. I don't have anything that I'd like to make out of it. And I'm sure somebody else could use 20 yards of fabric for something. All right. Got this denim. Didn't realize I had denim. This was expensive. I remember buying this. Um, I don't know if I like the pattern. What would I make out of this? You know what? I'm going to hold on to it. And if it still isn't made into something by the end of the summer, it, it's got to go then. This is a bottom weight. I was planning on making pants or a skirt out of it. It's a good neutral. I could also make a pinafore out of this. It's covered in little strings, so hold on. Let's get this going out of here. I'm gonna keep this. All right, looks like we've got, let's see, two more, huh? No, oh, I got some stuff that fell down there that I'll have to get. This I got to go with that sparkly blue sequin fabric. I'm gonna keep it just because I had a plan in mind for a dress for this. And I, if I don't do that, I could always use it as a backdrop because it is like a larger cool texture. This is like a homespun. I bought it because there was a lot of yardage. It's not my colors. I'm gonna donate it. I sure shit don't need gold lame. Um, why was this? Oh, somebody, my makeup artist was using these as backdrops and she gave them to me. Like for her little products that she sells and shit. Um, I'm gonna donate them. I'm never gonna use these. And then I used this fabric to make a Regency Spencer, which is a work in progress six years later. Um, this can go, donate. I cleared the table and let's put stuff away. They're all stacked, everything's in one layer. Look at that. Um, yeah, I am setting myself, like, ignore this business going on here. I'm setting myself the personal rule that nothing can exceed these drawers. Oh, okay. But nothing can exceed these bins for my fabric stash. If I put something else in there, something else has got to go. Still need to work on this business. So we cleaned it out, yay! Um, I felt good, I've gotta take some stuff over to um, scrap it up, my local crafting type thrift store establishment. Um, I also wanted to take a minute and thank everybody who has been following me recently, um, people who've been following me since the beginning, which was only a couple months ago, um, know that I have not been posting quite as much as I normally do um, this week. My puppy is playing with a cat toy, but I will be getting more into the swing of things. Um, my busy, busy season has wrapped up as a photographer, so I've got more time to do stuff I want to do. I wanted to thank you guys for helping me cross 500 subscribers. I'm very excited everybody's here. Hopefully I don't let you guys down, but um, yeah, keep your eyes peeled. I've got some projects coming up and some more just general what's up videos. Um, if you guys would like to see more vlogs, let me know and I'd be happy to vlog them for you. All right. I will see you guys next time and until then keep stitching.